Welcome to the Atomic Learning Rollout Podcast for June 24, 2010. I'm Chris Bolden, the Content Development Manager at Atomic Learning. Here's a rundown for this monster of a rollout. For tech skills, we've got Composer, Google SketchUp 7, iPod Touch, iPad, Word 2010 Intro, the final version, Excel 2010 Intro, OneNote 2010, a PDF on using administrative features on the Atomic Learning site, Photoshop CS5 Intro for PC, and Flash CS5 Intro for PC. For tech integration projects, we've got video creation using iMovie 09 and iPhoto 09, scheduling time using Google Calendar, and budgeting using money for iPhone iPod Touch. For assistive tech, we've got Windows 7 accessibility features, Write Out Loud 6 What's New, and Draft Builder 6 What's New. We've also got Stages Assessment Software, Stages 1 through 3. For workshops, we've got the iPad as iReader, an orientation for educators. We've also got a couple of new features on the site. iPod Touch iPhone and iPad have been added to the Platform drop-down menu, and two new items are in the Types drop-down, Social Networking, and Mobile Devices. Let's run down the tech skills stuff. Composer is a free WYSIWYG web authoring application that used to be called Enview. If you hear anybody asking for Enview, this is the one they should check out because Enview is over and done with and Composer is its successor. Google SketchUp 7 is a refresh of our series on the popular free 3D modeling program. We've got a couple of highly anticipated tech skills series, the iPod Touch by our very own Andrea Carlson and iPad. These intro series consist of a short list of the basic functions of the devices, such as how to connect to a Wi-Fi network and viewing usage stats and other info, as well as how to type on the devices. Watch for an extended series for both the iPod Touch and iPad later this year, highlighting more functions and new features of the iOS 4, the brand new OS for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad that was announced this month. Next, we've got Intro to Word 2010. Our original series was created using the beta version of Office 2010 and had a few things that were changed in the final retail version. Beth went back and revised the series to match the final version and now we've got it totally done with two new sections. Adding to our training on Office 2010 applications, Beth also knocked out Excel 2010 intro. Keep an eye out later this summer for PowerPoint 2010 to round out the office trifecta that makes up some of our most watched series. We've also got a new series on OneNote 2010, Office 2010's tool for creating, managing, and sharing information. There's also some new content for training on the Atomic Learning site itself. A new PDF has been added to Section D of the Custom Content series, featuring tips on how to upload video, audio, and interactive files. Another highly anticipated series is Matt Lenz's Photoshop CS5 intro for PC. Photoshop is, of course, the industry standard for digital editing, compositing, and painting, and we'll have the Mac version coming soon. In addition to Photoshop, we'll have another member of Adobe's Creative Suite in this role, Flash CS5 intro for PC. More applications in the Creative Suite are in development, and you'll hear more about them in upcoming roles. All right, now let's jump over to the tech integration projects. Video creation for the Mac is a refresh by Jody Radnick of a project called Feeling the Way I Do, using the most recent versions of iMovie and iPhoto from the iLife 09 suite. Scheduling time using Google Calendar by Heather Slee is also a refresh of an existing project called Tabs on Time, and we're happy Heather was able to jump on this project and turn it around so quickly after getting started. Awesome! Note that Tabs on Time has now been retired and is no longer available since the training was on a version of Google Docs that no longer exists anywhere. Jody has also created an awesome tech integration project using the iPod Touch focusing on creating a budget using the built-in Notes app and a free app for iPod and iPhone called Money. 
For assistive tech, we've got a couple of What's New series from the Don Johnston software family. Write Out Loud 6, a text-to-speech application that provides real-time auditory feedback, and Draft Builder 6, which helps break down the writing process into manageable steps. We've also added accessibility features for Windows 7 and training on Stages assessment software for Stages 1 through 3. We've added a great new iPad workshop by Jim Norwood, which focuses on some how-tos and practical considerations for teachers and students thinking about using the iPad as an e-reader or digital textbook. That's it for this Rollout Podcast. This has been Chris Bolden for Atomic Learning. Until next time, stay groovy, folks. <laughs>